Balinese cat versus Maine Coon cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Except for coat length, the Siamese and the Balinese are indistinguishable, having a svelte but muscular body with long lines and a wedge-shaped head that is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base and pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. medium size eyes are almond-shaped. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. The Balinese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, plumed tail that tapers to a fine point. The appearance of the body is softened by a medium-length coat that is fine and silky. It is longest on the plumed tail. A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a ruff in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. The Siamese and the Balinese might differ in coat length, but beneath the skin they are identical. Balinese are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Balinese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. He is frequently underfoot, so he might not be the best choice for people who are unsteady on their feet or use a walker or cane. A Balinese is perhaps not quite as loud as his relative the Siamese, but he is most definitely just as opinionated. He will tell you exactly what he thinks, and he expects you to pay attention and act on his advice. You can also count on him to tell all the visitors, so be grateful that most people are not conversant in the Balinese language. The Balinese are highly intelligent, agile, and athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys and his body exercised with teaser toys that he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. He likes to play fetch, is willing to walk on a leash, and learns tricks easily. He is also a good trainer himself and may be running your household before you know it. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided that your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Do not get a Balinese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Balinese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Balinese don't mind staying home during the day while you go off to earn money to buy cat food, but they will expect you to devote time to them when you are at home. It can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. Choose a Balinese if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically lapping cats, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. 
Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The fine, silky coat of the Balinese is easily cared for. Comb it once or twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair. A bath is rarely necessary. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe a Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Balinese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. The friendly, Laid-back Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.